What's up YouTube? Uh, <clears throat> today we're going to break down a basic Samba and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the first basic Samba that I learned and then I'm going to show you one variation with a uh, different left hand. So uh, there's a couple ways to start with this. Uh, you can count it <clears throat> either as 8th notes or as 16th notes. So you want to start with the feet. You have a foot ostinato, which means this is never going to change throughout the whole thing. So uh, if you're counting eighth notes, the ostinato goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So now if you count sixteenth notes, it's still going to sound exactly the same. The placement of the bass drum and hi-hat will just come in different beats. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right. So now, <clears throat> once you get really, really comfortable with that, you're gonna do a right hand ostinato on the ride cymbal bell. So now, this is also not gonna change throughout the whole thing unless you start making variations out of it. Okay. So this is gonna go in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Or as sixteenth notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Alright, so let's build up from the beginning. So I'll start with the foot off sonato, then I'll add the right hand. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right. <clears throat> so now your left hand is going to be doing rim clicks and tom hits. So the first one, uh, when you're doing <clears throat> eighth notes, your rim clicks going to come on just beat one and your tom will come on and three so it sounds like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and as sixteenth notes it's gonna sound like this one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. all right so I'll build it up from the bottom just again or just like last time, I mean. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right. So <clears throat> typically, samas are gonna go a little bit quicker. So. Uh, this at a mid tempo or mid tempo kind of sound is gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and one. All right. So now I had a little bit. I did gradually increase the tempo because I started a little slow there. But uh, now, <clears throat> at a little bit quicker tempo, it will sound like this. Just kind of like the basic samba. So, once again, slow. All right. Uh, so now, what we're gonna do for this first and <clears throat> or the variation that I'm gonna do is gonna involve just changing your left hand. So what we're gonna do, count it out as sixteenth notes. It's gonna be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Uh, Alright, 
so <clears throat> that variation is going to sound like this. So again, all I did was change my left hand, so there's other possibilities of changing maybe your right hand or changing the placement of your <clears throat> left hand, like what surfaces you're hitting on each count. And uh, don't be afraid to utilize the different sounds of a rim click. So notice how <clears throat> I'm about an inch, and then if you go up like an inch and a half, it gets you a completely different sound. So you can also do stuff like that. Alright, uh, so that's basically it for that. Thanks for tuning in and let me know if you like the video.